How's it going guys? I'm a rude boy and this is basic beach cooking. So today we're going to be doing some yakitori, which is pretty much just grilled meat in Japanese. Yakitori is super easy. It's literally just marinated meat and some vegetables. And I'm sticking with green onions because I love green onions with my chicken, of course. For the yakitori, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you have some raw, unfrozen chicken. This really cool thing that I didn't do this morning was defrost the chicken. So I'm what the cool kids would call an idiot. Other than that, it's going to be super easy, super quick, very fun to do. Let's get started. So for this, I'm cutting them into thin strips because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold them up so then it's little little bits and it'll match better with the skewers because the skewers I have are very thin, stupidly thin. And now we start the marinade. So for marinating the chicken, you can probably see the bowl down there. We're gonna be using a bowl. All right, so now we're actually gonna move this junk out of the way, get that bowl in the center, toss our chicken bits in here. All right, ignore that plate that I totally didn't nuke uh, chicken in. And the next thing that I should have done is uh, open all these, jar all these jars because I just forgot to, because I just bought everything. So, you know, quick little time lapse. So now that everything is opened, we're gonna start marinating this chicken. So I'm gonna start off with some my ploy. It's just sweet chili sauce. Uh, it's one of my favorite things. And I always have an overly huge bottle because I use it for almost everything. So we're gonna dump in a generous amount if it wants to come out. There it goes. All right. So generous, I'm very generous with my my ploy. Uh, we're going to be using some soy sauce because soy sauce is the best sauce. Uh, throw in some garlic. Should have grabbed a spoon. Eh. All right. And last but not least, we're going to be using some unfiltered sake. Um, you could also use some dry sherry for it, but I also wanted something to drink, so. It's a win-win. Alrighty, next we're gonna be mixing it all. Mix it all up, really get all of it soaked up. There we go, into that sweet, sexy marinade. Alrighty, look at that, it's beautiful. You can see from that top camera, just how gorgeous it looks. There we go. Alright, we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes. I'm gonna wash my hands, and then I'll see you guys soon. And we're back. It's been a couple minutes. Let it, I've been letting the chicken marinade. I got everything prepared for it that I'm gonna be using. Some green onions. I pre-cut off the, the roots, just because I don't like eating roots, unless you do, you know, keep them on, whatever. I don't judge. And some skewers, my non-thick skewers. So, what we're gonna start off with is skewering chicken. And I did that wrong. So since we're doing that fold like I told about, talked to you about, we're gonna do that. We're gonna get a piece of green onion. Try to stab it. Beautiful. I somehow did it. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. I'm skewer master. Call me skewer master from now on, guys. My minuscule fan base that might wa watch this and all the other new visitors. I really need to do an intro video. Maybe I need less uh, green onions. I'm gonna do less green onions. Alrighty, I, I'm, I'm doing this wrong, I already know I am. I'm really bad at this, guys, I'm sorry. I lied to you, I'm not a professional chef. I'm just an idiot that's stabbing chicken. 
These look so bad right now. What am I doing with my life? Why am I recording YouTube videos? Why don't I just stick to curries? I need a drink break. Ah, ah pog seltzers, I love them. All right, let's keep going. Maybe if I cut these, maybe if I cut them in half, it'll look better. I'm gonna cut some of these in half. All right, so now we have some halves. Let's give this another shot. And one more piece of chicken. Look at that. It's beautiful. God, they look so bad. And I'm gonna put this on YouTube. That's the worst part. I have been cooking for seven years of my life and I can't skewer a goddamn green onion properly. Maybe I gotta give up being a chef. Maybe I just gotta go into the business of businessing. I already know that like all of my, if any of my chefing buddies uh, watch this, they're gonna disgrace me because I am a mess and I am hot garbage. This is it. Look at that. It's beautiful. Alrighty, once again, I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna cut to being at the grill, which is already hot and ready for these boys. So, and we're back. Uh, this is my smoker that I've converted, converted into a grill. And this is what we're gonna be using to cook everything. Since you guys aren't gonna be able to see my face uh, when I start grilling, that's why I'm squatting. I might just use the, uh, the chair over there and just sit there, stare at you lovingly with my loving eyes. Anyway, let's get to cook, grilling. So in, in the midst of all this, I realized that these coals aren't hitting the heat hot enough yet. I don't know, I'm gonna put these on. Maybe something will happen. It's, it's, I'm hearing the sizzle. Maybe, I, maybe I'm just being paranoid. So now I'm gonna let it just cook. I'm gonna pretend like it doesn't exist and move on with my life. We're just gonna let this sit for a while. I'm gonna see what happens and we'll get right back to you, so. All right, let's check on these. They're not even cooking. <laughs> There's not enough heat coming from this. Why did I think my smoker could be a grill? Oh no, I've done something so rough, bad, so wrong. We're gonna add more charcoal. That's it. All right, so in the hopes that adding more charcoal will add more fire to the flame, as his kids say. We're gonna add more heat. Oh, cool. There is a lot of charcoal in here. Oh God, don't play with matches, kids. Oh God. Fire. So it's looking good. It's looking good. We're going to give them the old Flipperoni. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. What have I done? Why did I think adding more charcoal is a good idea? Actually, they're kind of cooking. They're leaving a lot of blacks, obviously soot because the all the fire. 
It just adds a smoky taste. Scoot over, bitch. There we go. I'm just gonna cut to when they're done. Uh, I'll be back uh, when these are done. I'll show you inside the kitchen, so. And we're back. Um, I don't know what to say. I am a disgrace for a chef. I am a complete garbage person. I don't know why I thought a smoker could be turned into a charcoal grill that would grill delicious meats. I was horribly wrong and I thought it would do it, but it very much did not. As you can see right here, it is very black. It looks very burnt. I am very ashamed of myself and I have to eat some. So, uh, I'm gonna pick the worst looking one and the worst looking one is this. For my suffering, I'm not eating this. So we're gonna try it. And I'm sorry that I thought this was a great idea. Okay. It's not bad. It doesn't taste bad. It tastes very much like a charcoal. Well, you can still get the marinade taste in it. I actually cooked the green onions kind of good. But as I learned, this isn't something I should uh, try to do again with a smoker. So um, it turned out all right. It's not a uh, picture worthy. Um, I am still disgraced by myself. I can't wait to get ribbed on. But, um, other than that, there we go. If you like this video, which I would be surprised, I'm probably just for your amusement of me being a failure. Uh, if you liked it, <laughs> click the like button down below. Hit that subscribe button too. It really helps me a lot. And uh, feel free to leave your worst comments uh, down below as well so that I can uh, understand how bad I messed up. And I post videos every Sunday uh, since that's my free day off. And I'm hoping that I can start posting videos just intermittently throughout the week. Uh, we'll see where that happens. But for sure, Sundays, you can count on there being a video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Oh no, what have I done?